Jubilees, my TikTokers, and my Teletubbies. This is Sheila True Love, and I am practicing on my new Samsung Galaxy Book 2 360 on how to get this video to work properly. And uh, yeah, so I guess we can talk briefly about something. And what I want to talk about is living miserable lives. That's not what Jesus Christ wants for us. If we focus only on the negative things in our lives, we become negative people. And that's not what we want. Everything, including our conversation, becomes negative. We soon lose our joy and we live miserable lives. And that's not something that we want. That's not what Jesus Christ wanted for us when he died for us. And we keep in mind all of this negative living, it all comes from negative thinking. You might be experiencing some problems in life, not realizing that you are creating them yourself by, excuse me, my darlings, by choosing, by choosing the kind of things that you choose to think about. Now, what I'd like to do is I would like to challenge you to think about the kind of things that you're thinking about. If you examine your thoughts, you will find that you're feeding these negative emotions with these negative thoughts, and that's so not good. It's not healthy. Negative thoughts are what causes you to feel discouraged, to feel depressed, have anxiety, and so many other unpleasant emotions. And that's not what I want for you. That's surely not what I want for you. And you know, that's not what Jehovah and Jesus want for you. We should choose our thoughts carefully. We can think about and focus on what's wrong in our lives. Or we could choose to think about all the things that are going right in our lives. The choice is always yours. I know each night before I go to bed, I write in my journal. I haven't missed so far. And, and I've been doing this for years. All of the things that went good for me for that day. Even if it's, I took an Uber from work instead of the bus, because I usually take the bus. Even if it's, I had a great meal and it turned out very successful. Even if royalty was super, super affectionate today, my, my beautiful kitty. Uh, think about everything, any and everything that went right for your day. You got home safely, you know, um, you got a chance to focus and concentrate on your book. You completed a task that you wanted to complete. OK, uh, we can think about what's right with all of the people in our relationships, so we can think about what's wrong with all of these people. It's whatever you decide to meditate on that's going to determine your mood. The Bible always encourages us to try to think uh, and believe the best about people. Sometimes it's a little harder and more challenging than other times because some people are a real pill and it can be challenging. But when we tend to focus on the negative, I mean, when we choose to focus on the positive things, it makes our life a lot more happier and a lot more peaceful. I've been checking out this channel. It's called Encourage TV. It's on YouTube. And they have like all of these positive movies and a lot of the positive shows. I'm just sad to say that they don't have a lot of black shows that are like Little House on the Prairie, Highway to Heaven, Touched by an Angel, The Waltons. You know, these decent family shows. And you don't find that many ebony or black shows like that. I don't know what's up with Tyler Perry and Oprah. But lately, they've been showing a lot of black women chasing after eggplant, and everything is about a man, a man, a man. It's ridiculous. We need to go back um, to what's decent. You know, like I said, every Sunday, I watch uh, Christian movies. I'll type in black Christian movies, looking for the positive movies to look at for my Sunday. That's my day that I spend with me in Jesus Christ. And that's what I do. Now, on another note, I want you to know that if you let the devil fill your mind with negative thoughts, you will be defeated. So work your damnedest not to allow that. It's always best to focus on the undeserved kindness that Jehovah God and Jesus Christ always give to us. And to be thankful for all the good things that we have in our life. 
So don't focus on the things that you don't have. I focus on everything that I have. There's things that I still want and I desire, but I'm so grateful for all the things that I presently do have. Thoughts are very powerful and you have to know that. You can have a positive life or you can have, I mean, you can't have a positive life when you have a negative mind. Just remember that, okay, going forward. All right. Okay, and I always feel great when I think about how Jehovah and Jesus Christ are so merciful. And whatever mistakes we make, they're not surprised. I spoke about this before in one of my encouragement for the day and uh, power thoughts for the day. But they are not surprised when we make mistakes. And whatever mistakes we make, uh, they are so forgiving and so merciful as we are supposed to be for each other and not constantly living in the past. Oh my God. If I could get my children to understand that, it would be, we'll be halfway there. Yeah. Um, uh, like I said, Jesus Christ and Jehovah, they're not shocked. They already knew what we were going to do before we even do it. And yet they love us anyway. Okay. I want to uh, read that scripture to you uh, from Philippians chapter three. Yes, that is Philippians chapter three, verse 13 and 14, where it says, brothers and sisters, I know that I still have a long way to go, but there is one thing that I do. I forget what is in the past and I try as hard as I can to reach the goal set before me. I keep running hard. <laughs> I keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize that is mine because God has called me through Jesus Christ to life up in heaven. So when it comes to hanging on to the past and uh, constantly beating people up, I mean, if people are willing to make amends, honey, let it go you will be so much more happier. I promise you this. Now, I want to ask you a question also. Uh, are you upset? Are you worrying? Or are you trying to make something happen? You don't have to be. Worry, stressed out, filled with anxiety, worried about your kids. Kids are going to do what the hell they want to do. Like I made a video, Jesus Christ learned obedience from the things that he suffered. So sometimes our kids are going to have to suffer through their journey, and hopefully that will help wake them up. And you don't have to be worried about uh, anxiety and all of this. You don't have to be. Jesus has a place of peace and rest for you. And all you have to do to enter his rest is to put your trust in him. With God and Jesus Christ there, there is always an opportunity for a new beginning and a fresh start. So relax, my darlings, relax and enjoy your life. Enjoy your life and relax. Jesus Christ, he got you. The Holy Spirit, they got you. I love you. Bye.